subscribe to bootstrap station if you haven't and today we are going to create our clone configuration file in linux for using that our clone.com file in online platforms like google collab or at some different location other than our home pc so first of all you need to download the our clone from this website for linux just check your architecture whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit and download accordingly so mine is 64 bit i am going to download this one it is right here after the download and i am just going to extract this okay so here's the folder i am having just extract it from this zip file now just launch terminal in the terminal type cd space drag and drop this folder into the terminal and press enter now open up this folder now you see this file we have to execute this file so for executing that first of all we need to make it executable type sudo space ch mode space plus x space type the file name our clone and press enter now type the user password and press enter now this file has been made executable now we can run it so type our clone space config and press enter now it says command not found just type forward slash and a dot before this our clone and press enter we have to make it dot and a forward slash now you can see it has got successfully executed let us create a new remote here just type n and press enter type the remote name for example i want to create the configuration file for google drive i'm just going to make it z drive you can create the configuration file for any of the drives like mega onedrive open box and there are a lot of them are there in the market okay so just press enter now see where you have the name of the drive listed it's the number 13 so i'm just going to type number 13 here and press enter press enter to skip these two now i want the full access of all the files so i'm just going to type one and press enter press enter enter two times now enter again and here also enter now it will be opening the link in your default browser for authenticating the drive okay and if it doesn't open you have this link right here you can just open it up into any of your browser now choose your account from here or login if you don't have it logged in now click on allow to give it permissions and you can see that it's a success and you can see that it has got the code so now if you have any team drives or shared drives attached to your google account like this one i am having a team drive attached to this account so it will show it this way and if you don't have any team drives or shared drives it won't show it this way it will be directly a no here okay and now i want to create the configuration file for the team drive so i'm just going to type y here and if you want to create the configuration file for this only my drive then you can just type n and press enter but for now we are going to use the team drive and press enter now you can see that it has fetched the list of the number of team drives here you may have many so just copy the code of the team drive for which you want to create the configuration right click and click on copy now right click again and click on paste and press enter now we have this configuration now you can just press enter as the default option is yes it is okay press enter and you can quit the configuration by typing q and press enter now we have successfully created the dot conf file so let us see where it is so now if you scroll to the top where we executed this command arclone config you can see that the configuration file is stored here this is the location of the configuration file so just copy till here copy it up and you can either paste the location here or you can go to the home directory and you can see that we don't have this dot config dot means that the files and folders are hidden so just type Control plus h in the keyboard to show the hidden files and folders now here we have the config folder and you can see our clone folder here and here we have the our clone.com file now you can use this file anywhere you want to use this team drive so please subscribe to boost up station and that's it for now
Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.